Sexual transmitted disease, as the name implies, is a infectious illness or disease that is passed through sexual contact. Parents should start talking to their children about sexual activity around ages about 9 to 10 or age appropriate, depending on your child's maturity level. The important thing is to be comfortable with it. I know it's a subject that we don't want to talk about, uh, either because of our own experiences at a young age or um, our own perceptions of our, our children's health in the future. But the main thing is that you want to, is to arm them with the knowledge of uh, sexual activity and the consequences of that. Recently, the CDC just put out statistics about the rise in chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis, the highest in 20 years that we've seen in this country. Also, uh, there have been drug resistance to these different sexual transmitted diseases. Putting those two together, it is going to be a health issue, and so we have to talk about those things. There is a certain percentage of these diseases that can be asymptomatic, meaning no symptoms. Uh, asymptomatic infections are on the rise and also can lead to human papillomavirus, pelvic inflammatory disease, infertility, and ectopic pregnancy. So it can have devastating consequences for our future for our children. Currently, right now, there is a vaccine for HPV that is both indicated for boys and girls. It is a three-shot series. The earliest time that we start doing that is at nine years of age. I think one piece of advice that I would give to a parent talking to their child about sexual transmitted diseases and sex is it's a part of life. We're protecting them from the world from all these other things, but it's a hidden taboo to kind of talk about sex. So uh, get comfortable with it. Um, it's not as bad as you think. That could be a, a real bonding moment to know that I can talk to my dad or mom and, when you do that, the barriers come down, and I think that's, that's very important is to be comfortable with it.